constantly I know if Theo shows up we will start a fight because Theo does not sit beside me in the car till now he says I'm here I'll sit in front I said come, come, come and sit here on Friday night it became a fight I said to sit here sit here brother comes don't touch my things when it's around he still carrying my tab this one too uh, he's still for Sunday he's a gifted man and because a gifted man is a gift during this meeting he didn't even sing too much he prayed to open the atmosphere it was easy to glide but he has not lost his composure we need teachers who will tell people why they need to be humble who will tell people why they need to speak the truth who will tell people why they need to act in faith who will tell people why they need to be pure I told them this morning don't wait till church says you should fast Jesus did not fast because the temple said fast he understood the personal dimension of fasting as even if you are in the same room with somebody that is eating your values on your lives are different maybe him if he eats his way he will still make destiny hey you he may need to fast to win and it's not because the enemy is much it's because the weight God has placed on your head is big So everybody wanting to be anointed as I have a as Moses or Imalade, go and check how they labored. If you labor the way they labored, you build their capacity. And then when God is looking for somebody, He might choose you. Because after you have done everything that Baba has done, you will need to remember that Baba Allah was chosen because God chose him. You can't bribe your way, you cannot also labor your way into destiny. You can only get what was allocated to you or miss it. There are only two options around destiny. You can't steal another man's destiny. And you can't say amen to get his blessing. You can't say amen to get my blessing. My blessing is tailor made. Can you say amen to wear my shirt? You have a big body. Fasting has reduced my own. So become like this. Amen. So I looked at revivals and I saw cries across 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 generations. That in that revival. It's not solely an act of God. There is a partnership. It's, well, let me put it this way. Revival is an act of God, but it requires a human partnership. God does not bully his way and begin to reign on a land that has not asked. There is a human and there is a human alignment that produces true revivals. There is a human alignment that produces lasting revivals. And until the spiritual process is perfected, there will be no revival. If he says the grace that brought you salvation. Has appeared to all men, and that grace teaches to say no to ungodliness. That grace teaches to say no to ungodliness. We don't need to walk around it. That's what this that's what Ezra did. And these men, there were many men. What you see there is that for a revival, you will have more teachers than preachers. Did you see them? Who read to them was Ezra. But you saw a bank of men who came and distinctly, not just in large groups, but in small groups. Sometimes somebody would train to and host them. And gather three or four people together and begin to teach them distinctly so there is a demand for teachers because that functionary in the fivefold is necessary for every revival so don't just tell what god wants them to do teach them how teach them how every time i travel by the message of god i, I trust jesus that in many ways i will i will i will I will be exemplary behave it's so easy for me to be lost in the middle of protocol people and sometimes they want to do plenty of things for me and I say no 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 they say why are you doing this I say I want to set an example Pastor Shep Kuka said something this morning he said <laughs> his wife came with him he said some people think that we are sexually pure because we love our wives and our wives are the finest he said we marry fine people but the ones who tempt us are not just fine <laughs> they are naked <laughs> at least there's fine and covered but there's also fine and naked the nakedness is an invitation he said but there's something we treasure and God was with Joseph <gasps> that you see if you put Joseph in prison he is still not a victim as long as God is with him if there is no food on his table if God is with him he has hope if God leaves him he's finished that is the presence that keeps us consecrated the, the the dependence 
one of the pre accurate priestly activities in this season as we embrace the promise of a revival is the recovery of the book of the law we must restore the word of god before the congregation it's not a time to preach frivolities people who don't think they need revival will not be revived what the book of the law comes to do is to show how dead we are it's an administ a readministration of original conviction the priest must bring it before the congregation and read before all that have understand give me verse 7 verse 7 the bible says also Yeshua and Barney oh, okay and um, Sherebiah, Jamin, Akub, Shabetiah, Hodija, Masaya, Kelita, Azariah, Josabad, Hanan, Beliah, and the Levites caused the people to understand the law, and the people stood in their place. Verse 8. And they read in the book, in the law of God, distinctly, and gave the sense and cause them to understand the reading so if we want to enter a revival we must have preachers the preachers are the ones who come to read and we must have men who have their feet deep in the teaching ministry who will labor to recover understanding that you see this thing that was read to you this is what it means it must be explained distinctly without 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 trying to color what god is saying we must return back to the original things that god said if God said be pure, don't try to preach to us that it's hard to be pure. We want to hear it the way God said it. Are you with me? Because in the day God said it, there was a follow-up facility. We call it, a, it's a revelation of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. It's called the Spirit of Might. You may need to listen to that sermon again. I preached it at the minister's conference in Abiyakuta some months ago. I called it the Spirit of Counsel and Might. And the, the arrangement is accurate. The counsel, if a man receives the counsel of God, he will receive the capacity to fulfill the counsel. So every time an instruction comes from God's counsel, it is backed up by the same Holy Spirit who brought counsel, backed up with the administration of mind. That's capacity to do. Are you with me? So God has never given an instruction that is grievous. Everything he tells us to do, or commandment, everything he tells us to do, is accompanied with the power to do it. If he says speak the truth in love, you have the power to do it. If he says lie not to one another, you have the power to do it. If he says flip fornication, you have the power to do it. And we don't need to rationalize how it can be done or it cannot be done. You have the power. Remember in 2 Chronicles 7 14, the first instruction is to what? Humble themselves. And I said to you that humbling yourself is different from praying. What it means is that true revivals or true revival labors don't start with prayer. I'm attacking your theology. You need to go and read scriptures. What bats prayers in a revival is a body. And there is a legitimate location where that body must come from. It must not be China's TV. You find out that on the part of a revival, there are recoveries. And the first recovery is the recovery of the word of God as the book of the law. Not as a book of prophecies or a book of promises. Or a book of gifts it must be recovered as the book of the law a kingdom material a kingdom constitution one that is licensed to be able to decipher between accuracy and inaccuracy the book of the law help me to Jeremiah chapter 8 I'll read the first two verses then I'll read 7 and 8 if you have not found the Word of God and in finding it you have not subscribed to it you are not on your way to a revival because there will be no burdens. Say, 